Review 2. Introduction. We are now ready for another review. We will begin where our last review left off and cover two ideas each day. The earlier part of each day will be devoted to one of these ideas and the latter part of the day to the other. We will have one longer exercise period and frequent shorter ones in which we practice each of them. The longer practice periods will follow this general form. Take about 15 minutes for each of them and begin by thinking about the ideas for the day and the comments that are included in the assignments. Devote some three or four minutes to reading them over slowly, several times if you wish, and then close your eyes and listen. Repeat the first phase of the exercise period if you find your mind wandering, but try to spend the major part of the time listening quietly but attentively. There is a message waiting for you. Be confident that you will receive it. Remember that it belongs to you and that you want it. Do not allow your intent to waver in the face of distracting thoughts. Realize that whatever form such thoughts may take, they have no meaning and no power. Replace them with your determination to succeed. Do not forget that your will has power over all fantasies and dreams. Trust it to see you through and to carry you beyond them all. Regard these practice periods as dedications to the way, the truth, and the life. Refuse to be sidetracked into detours, illusions, and thoughts of death. You are dedicated to salvation. Be determined each day not to leave your function unfulfilled. Reaffirm your determination in the shorter practice periods as well using the original form of the idea for general applications and more specific forms when needed. Some specific forms are included in the comments which follow the statement of the ideas. These, however, are merely suggestions. It is not the particular words you use that matter. 